how much this is unraveling. I have no idea how to fix it. Come on. Let's clear some space, babe. Ten spheres aren't working. Oh my God, Rose. The spheres are so integral to the look of the dish and to the taste of the dish as well. You can do it, Rose. You can do it. You've got this. Working, Rose? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm incredibly frustrated. Jeez. Yeah, they're not great. They are not great. <laughs> I am feeling the challenge get away from me, but I just refuse to let it go. Rose, check the other spears. They might be a bit neater. Sorry? Can you check the other ones? Yep. I go to my second tray and I demold my second lot of spears. I haven't got time to make a new batch. This is my last chance. Slowly, Rose. Great work, Rose. Good girl. I popped the last one. Beautiful. It's a gorgeous colour, it's nice and firm. So relieved. They're better, Rose. That's way better, okay. That's so much better. Look, they're not as round as Janice's, but it's a sphere and it's hollow, and I'm just really glad they're not actually have a dish to put up. Rose has managed to get one sphere together, which is great, but compared to Matthew and Reynolds, it doesn't look like she sealed it properly. There's a bit of a crack at the side, which could cost her. I'm feeling... Um, Rushed, but I'm not going to give up. I really want this and I want to make it happen. It's always the way with the pressure test. It all comes down to these last 10 minutes. 10 minutes to go. I think I'm tracking pretty well for time. I still have to spray those spheres to make it into that pinky purple colour that Janice had hers. I melt some cocoa butter and then pour that over some white chocolate and then I have to add some red food colouring and I think I'm starting to get it to the colour that she had hers. It really is the colour of a plum, isn't it? Well, I pour my spray mixture into a spray gun, take my spheres over to the little spraying booth and start spraying it. I've never done this before. It's coating the, the sphere quite nicely and I get it to the way that Janice's looks. Whoa! It looks great, Matthew. I'm really happy with that. Reynolds doing really, really well. Beautiful colour, Reynolds. I'm playing the pink spray mix show very thoroughly. I walk away from my cocoa butter mix show. Reynolds. Next thing I hear is a bang. Oh my god. My cocoa butter mix show goes everywhere and um that was stupid. Uh, Oh no, what do I do? I've got the biggest part of my dish done, which is that sphere, and I just need to spray it. Beautiful work, Rose. I'm catching up. Good work, Rose. Good, you made up lots of time. Keep going. I'll spill all my pink spray mixture onto the floor and the bench. I've got to think fast, you know, to save it. <laughs> Grab a spatula, I've got to save this mixture. Save it. Focus, just focus. I'm running out of time, I can't make another one. Hand, use your hand. And I just quickly scraping off the bench, back into the bowl. Lucky your bench was clean. Ray, don't worry, keep pushing. Don't worry about it, Reynolds, let's go. Move, move, move. I've got to get enough mixture into this ray gun. Ah. Concentrate. Go, Reynolds, you are fast. Go, Reynolds. Go, Reynolds. Keep moving, guys, come on. Just hoping that it's enough mixture to cover the whole sphere. I've got just enough to cover it. It's looking quite good. I've actually managed to save it. Beautiful, Reynolds. Remember, you're fighting for your place in the competition. Five minutes to go. Yeah. 
starting to plate up and I've got to move fast. Five minutes is not enough time. Grab the plum liquid jelly and I've got to scrape it to make my granita. As I'm scraping it, it's just pulling off the plastic wrap. It's not looking right. It's just too chunky, it's too big. I've got to transfer it to another bowl and I've got to just mesh it up. It's organised chaos. That's it, Rose. I've got all the elements for my dish almost there. My pastilles have set. I just need to cut them up and sugar them. I want to make sure that I get every element on the plate. It's going to come down to the tiniest little details. There's a lot of pressure to get it right. So I've got to cut the little jelly spheres that go onto the top of the balls. I know that the, the clock's ticking. I'm really getting nervous. A, a few of them are tearing. I don't want to be sent home because I, I miss out on one element on the dish that, that's important. Come on, Matthew! Three minutes to go! I've got a few minutes left in my cook and I've ticked off all the elements on my dish. I'm so relieved that I've got all my elements done. Now it's time to actually plate it up. I'm being really careful. It'd be really frustrating right now if I forgot to put something on the plate. I didn't draw a picture at the start, so I've got to try and remember from memory what the plating was like. I'm trying to assemble it all together. I've got to remember what's inside the ball and what's on the outside. With my history of plating things up, there's always room for something to go wrong, so I'm just hoping that I can still pull this all together. I put the other elements in there, the Rice Krispies, the pastilles, and pipe that yogurt mousse in. I finally managed to get a jelly disc on reasonably well, so I'm happy with that. Just one minute left. Come on, Reynolds, come on. I'm trying to remember how much rubies she put on, how much caviar she put on. I'm trying to remember where the pastilles go. And I'm just looking at this, just something really, really missing. starting to garnish it with all little bits and pieces and it's actually starting to look really beautiful. The little pastilles really pop against the pink. Come on, Rose, you can do Let's it. Let's go, Rose. The Rice Krispies are nice and bright. Yeah, all of a sudden I've got this beautiful dish. This is it. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven. Time's up, and I'm looking at my dish, and it hits me. I know what's missing. I forgot to put the Rice Krispies on the outside of the bowl. I'm pretty sure I've put them inside, but I haven't put them outside. I've got this, you know, sunken feeling that I know it's gonna be me. You know, there's little details, like the Rice Krispies, the thickness, I don't know if it was okay. I'm nervous, I can't breathe. I'm hardly taking any breaths in, because I'm worried. I might be going home. We love the beginning of the week and we love the mystery box because it shows us the cooks that you are. And what we loved about that challenge, energy, intensity, and most of all, that all of you focused in on a few ingredients. And that's the secret when you tackle a mystery box. Question is, have you done a good enough job for us to taste your dish? Remember, only five dishes. Hard decision for us to make. First one up, Ashley. I can't believe it. I really didn't think I had any chance at all of getting caught. But my concern is that my sauce is horrible. I don't think it's up to scratch, and I don't think I have a shot of getting the advantage. Come on, Ashley! Tell us what the dish is. It is a rolled chicken breast with coriander, egg noodles, and a coriander sauce. If there's one thing you're worried about, what is it? Um, I'm a bit worried about the sauce. It didn't turn out quite how I okay. wanted. OK. 
You know what, you might be disappointed, but I am deliriously happy. I think that dish is smashing, I really do. And what's interesting is on its own, definitely there's a little bit of bitterness. Yeah. But together, I think, it, I, I think you're punching above your weight. So what I want you to do mm -hmm. is to take this spoon back to your bench, <laughs> have some yourself, yeah. and see how sometimes disaster can turn into unexpected yeah. success. Well, Thank Ashley. you. Thanks, Ashley. Thank you. I am feeling so relieved, and I just can't even believe that it's happening. Ashley! Oh. I was so sure the dish was terrible. Now we'll all watch you eat. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, it tastes nice to get along. The next dish that we'd like to taste... ..belongs to... Sarah. I'm walking up to the judges and I'm starting to think they are understanding where I'm going with this. Like, maybe this dish isn't actually as bad as I thought it was. Two things I want to ask you. Firstly, what's the dish? The dish is an Asian-inspired crab broth with fresh and toasted coconut. Secondly, tell us about your 75 minutes. No. Oh. <laughs> begin. Uh. Didn't you want to do a creme brulee at one Yeah, point? I made a creme brulee too. Oh, you made one yeah, as well? Yeah, I made two of them. Oh, great. Yep. Just imagine if you just focused on this dish and nothing else. <laughs> But, I mean, that is brilliant. But can you imagine what it could be? But it's brilliant. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> MasterChef isn't just about good cooks developing into extraordinary cooks. It's not just about amazing dishes. It's also about redemption and showing us that you've got what it takes. Georgia. Come on down. As I'm walking up to the judges, I'm just so proud of myself. I've gone against the advice that the judges have given, but I really believe in this dish. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so what have you done? I've made a crumble with a chamomile creme pat, chamomile meringue, a blood orange curd, and just some segments of blood orange. It's a big spoonful, Matt Jesus, Preston. Jesus, me! What did you do? left to what? There wasn't much there. <laughs> that means he loves it. When he taps it, he loves it. Yeah, you're not wrong either, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd like it. <laughs> Every time you guys deconstruct something, I go, oh, I'm visualising, you know, the perfect little tart with exactly those flavours, mm -hmm. right? And then I eat that and I go, damn it. <laughs> it's better than that. <laughs> it's perfect, because it's that sticky, crunchy, toasty crumb. It tastes like the top of a crumble yeah. when it's, you know, it's all bubbly. So there you have it. Thank Proved you. me wrong. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Delicious. <laughs> Amazing. Thank well done. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Last week, this week, I cannot believe this is happening. It feels totally surreal. I can't believe that <laughs> I've smashed it. So three absolutely brilliant dishes so far, so the gauntlet has been thrown to the ground. Who is next? Will the dish measure up? Billy. <laughs> oh. You surprised? Yeah. Oh, yeah, kind Happy. of. You know what's interesting about this one, uh, for me, is the fact that we've just come off the back of George's, mm. which is an interpretation of classic dish mm -hmm. and really what you're putting in front of us is a classic creme brulee really isn't it mm -hmm. two things brulee crack mm -hmm. second thing is that custard silky smooth and delicious cool. mm -hmm. 
Mm. <laughs> you know what? If you're going to eat that much fat, let's be honest, it's <laughs> got to be worth it. Yeah. If you want to eat it and go, you know what? I don't care how many calories in it. That is delicious. And that's what I was hoping for, and I didn't quite get it. No worries. Thanks, Billy. Great. Well done. Thank you. Well, this is it. The last spot in the top five of this mystery box challenge. And that last spot belongs to... Reynolds. The judges really want to see some passion in me. And the way I'm going to sell that to them is through my plating. Love it. Love a little plate up at the pass. Yeah, I like this. Right, Good. off you go, Bit of theatre. Uh, I've got a blood orange granita with a salted caramelised popcorn, blood orange zest that I've candied, toasted coconut shavings with a chamomile ice cream. Little quenelle. Oh! Oh! oh. oh yeah, baby! That oh, is the right. best quenelle I've yeah. ever seen on MasterChef. You don't happen to have your phone, do you? I do. Of course, Could you take I a shot got and send phone. it to Matt and I? Closer, just give it a bit. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, nice. Mate, just a bit of Reynolds in yeah, the background. Yeah, a bit of Reynolds in the background. That looks amazing. Reynolds, look, you look very handsome. Can you flex the guns a bit more? Oh, no. <laughs> All right, let's go, boys. It looks absolutely beautiful. <laughs> What I love about this dessert is that chamomile ice cream is absolutely bang on. It, it has that fragrance of hay shed. It's, you know, like drying grass in the summer. Popcorn, it's a perfect combination with that orange zest with it. Um, for me, the popcorn needs more salt because something has to balance the sweetness of the praline, the ice cream, and especially the granita. I mean, it's amazing dessert, but you know it needs lime. You know it needs more salt. I think I've done a really good job with this dish, but there's a few areas for me to work on. However, I'm determined to get better and better. Next round, I really want to blow them away. Second challenge of the day and another great cook. It's exhausting, isn't it? And you did well. We asked you to be inventive with lamb and three veg. We're excited to taste. So, first up. Needy. Neddy. It's Marco. Tell me, what's your dish? It's an Australian classic Indian way. Lamb South Indian style. Sweet carrot pudding with an onion yogurt, past nerve chips, and a bread with onion stuffed in it. Did you say that one was for me? Yes, that, that one's specially for you. Uh, Today I made it for you. Uh, see? <laughs> All thank the you, special Jeff. stuff thank for you. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, I'll have one of these then. I went back to front there, didn't I? Yeah. Did you go pudding first? I went pudding first. This morning, you were top five. This tops what you cooked this morning. This is beautiful. Thank you, Marco. I wish you had a restaurant where I live. I'd be there every week. Oh, thank you, Marco. Thank you, thank you. This little carrot pudding is, well, it's better than anything I've ever had in India. This is one of those sort of things you try and you come back for the next morning, you wake and you queue up, <laughs> waiting to get in. I love it. Thank you, Matt. Love it. Good well done. Well done, Matt. Good luck. Oh, my God, Marco wants me to have a restaurant. It was the proudest moment. 
Setting a pressure test is an opportunity for chefs at the pinnacle of their powers, the height of their creativity, to bring in a signature dish for you to recreate. We've had many exceptional chefs walk through those doors, and now imagine what it'd be like for one of you to join those food greats. And today, that dream comes true for one former contestant. He's an internet sensation. Pop-up restaurants in Sydney have taken the city by storm. And if you want proof that MasterChef can change your life, you need look no further. Reynolds. Please welcome. From Koi Dessert Bar in Sydney. Reynolds. <laughs> MasterChef has really changed Reynolds' life. Seeing him opening his own dessert bar and living his dream is something that clicks for me. He's living proof that I can achieve that as well. <laughs> Good to see you again. Welcome back. Good to be back. Oh, Pretty nervous. <laughs> it's weird standing here like It's this, so weird. It? Go stand over there. How does it feel better? Ah, she does. <laughs> Give us a sense of, of what's what's happening with you. So I had the pop-up restaurant. That went pretty crazy. Uh, my emails just went full within five minutes. So my brothers and I started to collaborate together. So we've got a dessert bar um, that's in down in Chippendale, Sydney. Cool. Um, that's a very big cloth, Reynolds. That's a very big cloth. It is. This is one of the signature dishes, and uh, I reckon it's one of my favourite dishes to do. We've looked at it, and um, I think Gary's line was, oh, that looks like a finale dish. So, you know, keep those nerves under control. But, Reynolds, maybe you should do the deal. <laughs> He's in love with this. <laughs> now I am. <laughs> So today, you'll be cooking my dessert. Moss. <laughs> See what I mean about being a finale dish? <laughs> it just, it looks so beautiful and so perfect but I can see even from where I'm standing that there are so many elements on the plate. Come forward guys. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Isn't it? It's amazing. So go through the elements quickly, we're pointing out everything. I've got a dried fennel front here, it's very fragile. Um, down there, I've got a apple blossom pearl, pistachio sponge cake, and the cream here, the, uh, the blonde ones, they are the dolce crema, uh, nitro yogurt foam, apple sorbet, and the ball there. It's a pistachio mousse coated it with matcha, and inside it is a camel gel. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. It's amazing. It's so perfect inside. Caramel is gooey, but it still holds its shape, and it smells incredible. Right, guys, dig in. Thanks, Phil. Make sure you clock all those flavours, all those textures. Make sure you look at the way it's plated, where everything goes. Go for it. How is it, Chloe? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you have no idea. What do you think, guys? It's amazing. Yeah. It's like a party in your mouth. It's insane. There are so many different textures. Like, you've got the really crisp, perfectly tempered chocolate. You've got the soft, creamy mousse, and then the caramel in the middle. It's incredible. This is definitely up there on the list of best things I've tasted. But now I have to try and recreate it. Right, you should be 
tattooing the inside of your, your palate with that flavour. Yeah, because your back's going to be against the wall doing this dish, and having understood flavour is very, very important. Carmen, you, you love desserts, and you do some yeah. great desserts. Yeah. I'm going to have fun doing this. I just hope that everything comes together for me. What does it feel like standing so close to Reynold? <laughs> What's wrong with you? That's unnecessary. <laughs> What's unnecessary? <laughs> My mum's going to be excited. Oh, like... She thinks he's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. The mums, huh? Reynold, this dessert here, yep. in, in, on a scale of 1 to 10, how difficult? Probably give it a... probably a 9 out of 10. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You've got a lot to do. Yep. But you can do it. Yep. All right. The last dish we'd like to taste... Belongs to Charlie. Charlie, he's happy. Come on, Charlie. Gee, Charlie, from elimination last <laughs> week, to being tasted this week. Um, what's the dish? Uh, it is a honey semi fredo, lemon crumb, candy lemon, and a lemon and honey caramel. I've stood at this block many, many, many times, and I've eaten many desserts in the Master Chef kitchen. This, without question, is the greatest dessert I've ever eaten in Master Chef. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I went to a Michelin star restaurant today and ate that, I wouldn't question it. I'd more than likely ask for the recipe. It is delicious. The smoothness, the balance of honey and lemon, the crunch, all together in one. Have the confidence to sprinkle it all over. Have that confidence. Allow your fingers to create the design. Don't force it, make it sensational. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, yeah, oh, I've got nothing to say, really. Yeah, I've got nothing to say either. <laughs> how can you finish on that? It's <laughs> amazing. Charlie, how does that feel, man? Really? <laughs> it feels awesome, you know, to be at the bottom of the pack and kind of yeah. questioning everything after that first cook. Um, and then to hear those words from Marco, it's just... I, yeah, honestly, I can't have nothing to say. It's just crazy. Thank you so much. Thank Brilliant you. Stuff, well done. The feeling that I'm feeling today is absolutely on the other end of the spectrum from last week. It's... Amazing to go from such a low to such a high. That, is, that has happened, guys. <laughs> Those words will live with me forever and something that I'll always be able to fall back on and, oh, yeah. and draw confidence from.